Black holes are mysterious astronomical bodies which for a long time have dodged our advanced telescopes making us hard to get a real image of it. There are many artistic renditions of it but none of it can be called the real image of a black hole. But finally we are able to get the first ever real image of a black hole courtesy of Event Horizon Telescope's observations and imaging algorithm developed by a team of computer scientists. So in this episode of What the Science, we are going to understand how we succeeded in getting the very first image of a black hole. So without any further ado, let's get started. Black holes are formed when a supermassive star runs out of fuel and dies. Any star in the universe has two major forces acting on it. The inward acting force of gravity due to its own weight and the outward acting force of radiation pressure due to the nuclear fusion reactions taking place in its core. Both these forces counteract each other and keeps the star shining. But when the star runs out of hydrogen in its core, it starts to collapse. What is left behind depends upon the initial mass of the star. A star with the mass more than 20 times the mass of our very own sun will give a black hole. Black holes by definition is impossible to see. This is because in order to see something, we need light to reflect back from it. But a black hole has a gravitational pull so high that even light can't escape it, making it impossible to see what is inside a black hole. What we can see is the accretion disk of a black hole, which is formed as a result of gases and dust particles rotating rapidly around it while getting heated up in the process and releasing light. In this bright disk, our black hole can be seen as a ball of shadow. We can take images of such type of black holes, but the nearest one is 53 million light years away. In order to take images of such distant objects, we would require a telescope as big as our Earth, which is practically impossible to make. We can't make telescope as big as Earth. But one thing we can surely do that is to connect telescopes around the world to work together as if it was a giant telescope. So an international collaboration called the Event Horizon Telescope was created, which is capable of resolving structure on such a massive scale. Each telescope in its worldwide network works together collecting thousands of terabytes of data. This data is then processed to create the actual image. Let's understand how it is done. As per the original requirement, we needed a telescope as big as the size of the Earth to see this image. So in order to get the same end result, we need to cover the entire surface of Earth with the available size telescope and make them work together as a single giant one. But even this idea is not feasible as we can't cover our entire planet with telescopes. Practically, we can construct telescopes at few designated locations and work with them. Now the drawback is that instead of getting a complete image which was possible with a planet full of telescopes, we will get only few details of the image with the current setup. But the rotation of earth ensured that the telescope get to observe different parts of the same image which in turn provided us with more information to work with. Even with this additional information, it was a real challenge to complete the image. That's why we needed imaging algorithms to fill in the gaps. This imaging algorithm will fill in the missing pieces of the image with the limited information provided by the telescopes and the data we feed into it. Now here comes the trickiest part. The data we feed in can be manipulated so much that we can even get a giant dragon at the center of the image if we wanted. This data that we are talking about is nothing but the different types of images that we are going to use to construct our black hole image. Now if we feed simulated images of black holes into the algorithm, there is a high chance that the algorithm will give you back the image of black hole that you always imagined. So that's not the actual image of black hole that we are observing. So the algorithm here is biased, which we don't want. A perfect algorithm will be the one which gives the same output irrespective of the type of images that you feed into the system. If this happens, it means your algorithm is free of bias and can be trusted. Another way of checking your algorithm is to create many different types of source images by using a particular type and changing the information provided. Once the algorithm is confirmed, we can use it to create the first ever real image of a black hole, which we did successfully by taking the picture of M87 star, a supermassive black hole at the center of galaxy M87. So that's it from this episode of What the Science. Please feel free to put down your comments and suggestions about this episode in the comment section below. 
and since you have watched this video so far so please do hit the like button also i am keeping a target of 100 likes on this video so let's achieve this target together also if you like what i am doing then you can support me by clicking on the red subscribe button and also do click on the notification button on the side to stay updated you can also find details regarding my next release by keeping an eye on the channel art or banner which i update on regular basis you can also watch more videos from my channel by clicking on the videos appearing on your screen right now or you can watch other playlists from my channel by clicking on the link above thank you for watching see you soon with another video